Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm a regular commuter on the M3 motorway and uh, in the two years that I've had this car, things have changed a lot. Originally Fleet and Winchester, they only had the old electric highway units. Um, they were a pain to use, you needed an app, they weren't very reliable. Um, apparently they were pretty good if you had a Chadamo car like a Nissan Leaf, they were kind of designed for that, but, but for the newer cars with the CCS connectors, um, they were pretty poor. The good news is that grids have replaced all of those um, with some 60 kilowatt units. Uh, when they get the grid connections improved, they can up the power of those to more like 120. Um, also, Tesla, um, both directions, north and south at Fleet. Uh, finally, the southbound got switched on after a, a long wait getting a connection in there. But I'm just about to pull into Winchester um, southbound. I've noticed at Winchester North that there's some new grid serve units. Um, they've gone from uh, two chargers, so that's three CCS and one Chadamo. Um, they put another three in alongside that, so that's another six uh, charging spots. This is Winchester South. I think they might have uh, some new grid serves too. So I'm going to pull in and I'll, uh, I'll plug in while I'm getting coffee. And although I don't need a lot of charge, I'm just going to see what power they deliver. Sat map tells me they're about 80 kilowatts, which isn't massive, uh, but I've got a feeling there's some future proofing going on here. And when the local substation and the grid improves, uh, they're going to be upgraded significantly. So um, we really need this on the motorway services. We've got to have some better, faster connections and more of them. So uh, I can see the new units now. So uh, let's go plug in, see what happens. Well, the first real positive is they're signposted. Um, you see it all the time in France, but in the UK, you don't often see the uh, chargers signposted very well. So you've got to go find them. And uh, I can see there are a bunch of them down there. Let's go see what they do. So I plugged in, I use my phone with bank card to pay. Um, GridServe isn't uh, paired with the Audi charging service, uh, which is part of Ellie, nor is it paired with the Octopus Electroverse, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, so I just tapped in on the machine. Uh, it's giving me 75 kilowatts. Um, grid, uh, ZapMap says they're 80. It started charging pretty rapidly. I'm gonna run in, grab a coffee, and uh, I'll be on my way. I've got my coffee. I've got my uh, egg roll that uh, is gonna be my lunch. And I've been plugged in for, it says, five minutes, 30 seconds. I've been charging at 75 kilowatts. So that has put in about eight kilowatt hours. So that's another, 22 miles or so with my current efficiency or efficient car you'd add a lot more and of course if this was running at its full 150 or more kilowatt power i could have put in twice the uh, range in the time it takes to get a cup of coffee so um it's helped because i've got some errands to run when i get home and uh, i'll have a low battery so uh, this uh, extra 20 miles of range in the time it takes to buy a coffee pretty useful um so quite impressed this is expensive though um that's the downside of it uh, but one other thing i'll just add um, when you tap your card, you get a pre-authorization on your credit card. Uh, with grid service, only a pound. Uh, so I'm clearly going to spend more than that. I have seen some charges take um, as much as £30 as a pre-authorization. And if you only do a small charge, it's a long time before you get that release off your credit card. So uh, that's a good one for grid serve. Uh, pretty pleased about that. If only they would uh, tie up with Octopus Electroverse and give me a discount, that would be even better. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you again soon.